Welcome back. One of the headline announcements from the Tuesday's budget was almost $10 billion to boost Australia's cyber capabilities. It's part of a project called Red Spice, which stands for Resilience, Effects, Defence, Space, Intelligence, Cyber and Enablers. It's the big picture. There's also another billion dollars to help small business upgrade digital systems and improve their own cyber security measures. Let's bring in Nigel Fair, Director of Enterprise at the University of New South Wales. Thanks for your time. They love headline figures. As usual, it's a 10-year figure. And new money or not so much? No new money. No. When you go through the forward estimates, it's all being found out of defence, existing money. Mm. So we don't know exactly where it comes from. It's just that the priority is becoming cyber. Yep. Essentially. OK, well, there's the there's first element out of the way. Um, what about the promise that it talks about extra staff? What sort of boost is this to our numbers of... Uh, do we call them hackers? I don't know. Well, I call them hackers because okay. that's Good. what a lot of them do. We, some of them hack offensively, some of them hack defensively. Right. So this is to double the size of the Australian Signals Directorate, but importantly, triple the size of their offensive capability. And that's where I think we need to focus. Since our law enforcement is really not doing a great job to dissuade um, criminals mm -hmm. online here, I think if we can, you know, call it... So it's a vexed thing that hack back... Um, I think that's a good thing. Well, and in talking numbers, so can we compare our cohort? You know, how big is it compared to, I'm tempted to say the US, but maybe a similar country? Do we, do we have a sort of, should we have more? Is this a, a, a deficiency? I, yeah, I, I think we definitely need more. I think it's a great announcement. Um, the achievement of the announcement is going to be the hard thing. You've got to find these people. So you need people, in cyber we need people from all walks of life, but for ASD they need really smart, techie, mathematician type people. Right. So and what are they doing otherwise right now? What, what path are we trying to pinch them from? Well, they're all in consultancies earning a lot of money. So we've already got a constrained workforce. So those people that are already in it are just going to be saying, this is great, I can make even more money because the, the, the people just don't exist. So they're working at a bank or... Yeah, or, 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 a, yeah, or a big consulting firm, one of the big four. or and Making sure their, their defence is... Yeah. So that's yep. literally... Um, we don't have spare people, which I assume we're going to get people from overseas. Is that... No, we can't because you need security clearances to work in the agencies. Right. So you can't be a foreign national. At all? No. So you'd need to be here, get naturalised and then... Then, yep. OK. So this is where the problem with the people thing is. We really need to be going back to probably people in year seven and eight so that they do maths in year nine and ten so that they are up to the aptitude for the hard subjects in years 11 and 12 so they can do the really high-end degrees after school. Then by 23, they're, they're rock stars. So we need to get someone from the government going out there and saying, do STEM and we'll give you the cash when you... Do the high-end mathematics yeah. because we... Because don't defence do this sort of stuff, sort of... Um, planting seeds in different stages of life. Yeah, they do, but if they want to get another yeah. 1,900 people, they're going to have to do a lot more of it. A specific campaign to, to start inspiring the next generation is yep. the only way to do it. Yep. OK. Um, I'm interested in, well, that the money to help businesses with their own defences, mm -hmm. it costs a lot of money, um, cyber hacking to Australian businesses. Will that help much? Yeah, I think it will if it's used. It's a, it's a broad bucket of money and there's an incentive $100 in to get $120 out. I think they need the handheld. Small businesses particularly are yeah. busy just keeping the lights on. We, we need government, pains me to say that, to come along and say, here's some investment opportunities, how we will hold your hand and improve your lot in life. Because they're parts of supply chains. Right. Do they need to get not just deductions but sent, you know, here are three great programs you can put on your software, buy one of these, it's tax deductible. Is that too specific I think, or heavy handed No, no, or? no, I think... I think we, we need that level of granularity. We, they also need consulting to help them. It's mm. one thing saying, here's that great software, but then how do they implement it? Is it the right software for them? Right. Well, they need to be taken through a risk management process. If you're a, everything from a motor mechanic or a delivery driver through to a financial institution, yeah. you have a different risk profile online. Yeah. Okay. So, you, yeah. you mentioned just before that the issue is our authorities don't dissuade cyber criminals enough. If so many of those come from overseas, though, what can we really do? Well, we've got law enforcement partners overseas. The AFP has an extensive network of law enforcement agencies that they deal with and physically embedded with. Um, we can talk about um, offensive capabilities where we can put sand in their gears and make it hard, you know, make us not the low-hanging fruit. 
And there's also a lot of cyber criminals in Australia. Right. So, so is there a percentage of how much comes from in versus outside? Well, the, 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 the problem is all this goes to the Australian Signals Directorate, ACSC, and they're a non-FOIable organisation. Right. So we, we can't, we, yeah, we can't, we can't get that information. Right. You can tell me in the ad break. Nigel Fair, okay. thanks for your time.